What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. And um, I'm about to do some yard work as y'all saw in the intro. Um, I got this, uh, just got this uh, trusty dusty, i get in the picture, pole saw. It comes with an extension. Dang it, I'm hard to do that back. But anyway, it comes with an extension, but I'm not gonna be using an extension. Let me show y'all what I'm gonna be working on. What I'm gonna be working on is this crepe myrtle. This crepe myrtle. As y'all can see, I got some branches growing into the house. And um I got some other pruning to do. What a lot of people do, I see a lot of people do, is they destroy crepe myrtles. Um crepe myrtles can get really tall and they can get really wide if you don't uh um, prune them right and um, first thing to know about crepe myrtles their root base is very wide so it spreads it can spread up to like 15 feet away from the tree and um so what happens is sometimes when you first get baby crepe myrtles you'll get little sprouts coming up from around the base of it and if you never cut those sprouts they'll turn into branches and then they'll eventually turn into a trunk. So you have a whole bunch of sprouts. So what you want to do is as you see those babies come up, um, you can spray them with weed killer or just keep chopping them down and whatnot. So the base you want to only have between two to about four main sprouts. And as they grow up, you want to cut anything that's growing out to the side. See how these branches right here? See, I haven't did it in a long time, but see how these branches growing out to the side? Anything that's not growing straight up, you want to cut it off and so that's what I'm pretty much gonna to do today um, and then if y'all see this branch right here I'll give you a better view of it it's growing all into my house the whole branch coming off today I'm gonna to just chop it right there Bow. so let me give y'all a little 360 view but like I said if you do this see a lot of what a lot of people do if y'all see crepe myrtles y'all people just chop off the top to keep it prevented from spreading and so I had a couple of branches that y'all see is hanging over the deck and stuff like that and I was trying to figure out the safest way to get up there and to trim those branches that's coming over the deck you know without falling so now that I have my pole saw it's on so that's what I'm gonna do get y'all a good view of it yeah see uh that's all coming all into the house. I don't want that, so I'm gonna cut the whole back branch off. You see that one is coming way out, but I guess it's fine because it's in the yard. But but needs to one day that might have to go too. Anyway, like I said, usually I would use my pruner, but you know I'm a tool geek, so now that I got this pole saw, I'm gonna use this to cut it. If I need the pruner, I'll whip the pruner out, but. Let's get to it.
not too shabby. Took me about 10 minutes. Uh, but see what I mean? You just want to prune it and let it grow where you want it to grow. You know what I mean? Right now it looks bare, but eventually it's going to start sprouting new sprouts up top and it's going to fill out just like a tree. And that's what you want to look like. You don't want to cut it in half and have it looking like a bush. Yep. If I ever got a, well, you know, when we get a bigger house, I, I'm going to get a whole row of these and I'm going to have it nice and tall and full at the top like this and do a walk around. This is all the stuff I cut up. That is, I like that a lot. And I haven't even put, I thought I was going to have to put the extension on it, but I guess I'm taller than I thought I was. Yep, see how it's not on the house no more? Yep, yep. Alright, thanks for watching. Y'all got any questions? Leave it in the comment section. Stay tuned.